Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Navi. I know I haven't posted any hauls recently, but I've just been being social <laughs> the past few weekends. I've been actually going out and trying to be social, so I just haven't been able to post a haul. But today we're going to do a Zara haul. It's going to be featuring these pieces over here. And I paid $942.91, so almost $1,000 for this haul. So in this haul, we're going to have dresses, jackets, perfume, and jewelry. And I'll have all my sizes either up on screen or I'll just tell you guys. And I think let's just get right into it. Also, I will be filming in my bathroom because that's just where the lighting is the best. We're going to start off with this dress here. This is called the Ruffle Pleated Dress. It's in a size extra small is what I'm wearing. And this one was $79.90 USD. So with this dress, it has a sparkly sequence design on the front, just on the top half of the dress. It also has ruffles also on the top half, going down and then all around the waist. And as you can see, this has a button closure on the back. So I will say that it's pretty tough to put on by yourself. It is a two button closure at the neck. And then it has a zip feature on the bottom portion of it. It also has these strings that you can unbutton or you can keep them unbuttoned to kind of hold the shape of the dress, but I like that you can also take that off. I'm not sure what material is on this dress, but it is very light, lightweight and flowy and just easy to move around in. For reference, I'm 5'1". Also, my measurements will be down below. And for me, it it's the perfect length. It's not too long and it's not too short. It just reaches the bottom of my ankles. So if you're 5'1", that's where it would probably reach for you. Okay, so next we have this dress. It's called the Draped Dress with Choker. I'm wearing an extra small. Let me first just say if you guys have bigger boobs, an extra small will not fit you. It's already really tight on me and I'm very petite. I will have my measurements again below, but even for me, it's pretty tight and I have non-existent boobs so if you're like a bigger breast girl it's not gonna fit it's not gonna fit so this dress retails for $119 USD and again I got it in extra small as you guys can see on the try on portion this dress is by far the most difficult dress that I've ever had to put on it is so hard to zip this dress up just because it goes all the way up to the neck and you're definitely going to need assistance zipping this dress up unless you are a professional zipper or maybe you have one of those fashion hacks where you tie something to the zipper so you can zip it all the way up. I will say that the zipper is pretty small so it's kind of hard to even tie anything to it. Also with this dress, my torso is pretty short so as you can see in the back it, it leaves this gap so um, if you are a shorter torso girl or just don't have that long of a torso you might have the same issue where it kind of sticks out and it doesn't lay perfectly flat just because I think it's a dress made for someone who has a longer torso and or a longer neck whichever or I will say that the dress itself is pretty sexy it's your you know mini black dress this dress also has a slit on the back so then it's easier to walk in which is a nice feature because I know you guys know how difficult it is to walk in a super tight dress that's really long and it doesn't have any slit. It's really difficult to walk. But with this dress, you won't have a problem with that since it has a slit on the back. I would say that my problem with this dress is the tightness of it and the back part. Like I said, the part where it has that gap because I don't have a long neck or a long torso. So that part looks a little unflattering. The other problem I would probably have is that it's just really, really tight and I feel like the tighter the clothing, the more boxy I look, so it kind of doesn't give me the silhouette I want. I mean, obviously if you're naturally curvy already, you probably would fill this dress out pretty well, but you might have an issue then, in that case, the tightness of it, because there's not really much stretch to this dress at all, and it's very... I don't know how else to explain it, it's just, it's not the most comfortable. There's also a built-in corset feature, but I wouldn't exactly call it a real corset because there's no boning in it. I'll try to brighten up the camera for you guys um, manually so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But this is what I'm talking about, it has like this built-in 
corset feature, although it's, it doesn't have boning or anything, but it is like an extra padding of sorts in the dress. The next dress we have is this emerald green dress. This is called the Satin Effect Asymmetrical Dress. I got it in a size extra small and it retails for $119 USD. So I actually already wore this dress out and I will pop a picture up on screen. Again, this is all on my Instagram if you guys want to see the outfits put together. I honestly should have ironed the dress because it is a little bit wrinkly and I think if you want a more clean look, um, I would probably steam or iron the dress before you wear it out. Now with this dress, the open sleeve is on your left arm and the right arm is covered. This is what the back looks like. Just this asymmetrical cut here. I really do like this dress, but one problem I have, again, I don't have big boobs, so it is kind of loose right here. And, you know, it's not a huge problem. It still sits perfectly. Like, I'm not going to have any nip slips or anything like that, but, you know, if you have smaller breasts, I don't know if that's going to bother you guys. I also felt like this dress would be more body flattering, but because... I don't know, maybe it's just like my body shape, but it doesn't look as flattering on as I thought it would, but it's still pretty cute. I think it's a pretty classy piece, and the material does have a satin effect, as the title of the dress explains, but I would say it's a thick material. Like, it's not that thin satin that you guys see a lot of the times. It's, I don't know how else to describe it, but it's thick. And so you can see that this has a satin effect, but if you look at the inside, it's a little bit of a different texture. This dress also has a side slit right here, um, just so it's easier to walk. For me, it's not super long. I think with heels, it's fine. It touches my toes, though, and again, I'm 5'1", so it is pretty long, but the color is actually really pretty. It shows up a little bit darker on camera, but if you can see in the picture that I took, it is a true emerald green. Overall, it's a pretty cute dress. Next we have this. I don't want to pronounce it wrong, but I believe it's pronounced kaftan. I don't know if that's right. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but this is called the tie-dye print kaftan. Kaftan? Kaftan? I don't know. It's in a size extra small, too small. So it says extra small dash small. And this retailed for $119 USD. So I actually really love this piece. I feel that it is so flattering. That's just my personal opinion. I know it's not tight-fitting because I think most people when they think of flattering, they think of like, oh, tight-fitting clothing. But for me, since I have a boxier type of body type, I feel that, you know, things that have more flow to it or draping effect, they just suit my body type a lot better and it just creates this silhouette which is very beautiful in my opinion. One thing I will say is that it can be a little bit see-through um, so you might want to wear something underneath it. I think if you're in a dark setting or dark lighting you're not going to see through it but if you're maybe in direct sunlighting you will be able to see through it a little bit but I believe that this type of clothing you should layer it anyways. I think most people will have something underneath this as well, like a dress or like a slip or something like that. The colors on this are amazing. It's it's like this moss green and it has these purple pinkish tones to it throughout the dress along with darker shades of black. We have this white mini dress, and this dress is called choker mini dress in the color white, or as they would say on the Zara website, oyster white. It's in a size extra small that I got, and it retails for $89.90 USD. So I definitely had more expectations for this dress, and my expectations were not really met. Um, I'm not super disappointed, but I definitely and a little disappointed. I guess I would say it was a little anticlimactic because I just thought this dress would be better. Um, let's go through it. So the first issue is this neck part. It's just super loose. Um, I don't really like that. I just feel like, I don't know. I just, I'm not a fan of this. I do like the idea of it, obviously. Like I said, I really like clothing with drapings or like this type of style, but looseness is it's just a little too loose for me 
The other issue I have, it's the same as the black dress. You see that gap right there on my back? Um, again, my boobs are up here and my torso is short. I have a short neck, so it just doesn't fit. And if I pull it down to where it's supposed to be, um, I'm going to flash you guys if I do that because where it sits on your body is just not where it's supposed to sit, at least for my body type. I will also say that this dress is, again, fairly difficult to put on. There's a two-button closure right here, and you would think it's simple, but it's actually really hard to put on. Um, not the zipping part, but the neck part is very difficult to put on, and I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to spend 10 minutes putting my dress on. I just don't want to spend that time trying to get the buttons through the holes. I also think the dress would be more flattering if it was cinched like this and then flared out of the bottom. Um, so this is a piece that I might get altered just because it is, it does have potential to be really cute. But because it's just like this rectangle, it just doesn't give you any silhouette. And I feel like if it was tighter at the waist like this, and cinched out it would just look so much more cute so let's talk about the material really quick i don't know the exact material of this dress but i will say it is a thick material and it doesn't feel soft but it's not super rough if that makes sense it has a roughness to it but it's not to the point where you're going to be super uncomfortable it also has a layer right here so you don't have to worry about your nips showing or anything it is you can see it though i don't know if you guys can see that but you can definitely see the color difference because this is double layered here and then the remainder of the dress is not double layered so you can kind of see that this is like a truer white and this is more see-through quote i wouldn't say it's see-through because the material is still thick but you can see the color variation between something that is double has double fabric and something that only has one layer of fabric. Next we have this yellow coat and this is called the Satin Effect Flap Coat in the shade yellow. It's in a size extra small and it retails for $119 USD. On camera the yellow shows up a little bit more like a neon yellow but I would say this yellow is uh, how do I describe it? The yellow just gives me a feeling of summer. Um, I don't want to say it's a sunflower yellow because it's lighter than that, but I also don't want to say it's a lemon yellow. But if I had to compare, I would say it's closer to a lemon yellow. Um, the material is actually not that thick. I wouldn't say it's really thin, but it's definitely not thick. And the material is pretty smooth just like the satin effect. It doesn't look like satin, but it apparently has a satin effect. One thing I also like about this jacket is that you can hide the buttons on here. So the buttons are actually in the same shade of yellow and you see this flap here, like these flaps right here. So when you button it, it'll hide the buttons. So here I'm buttoning it and I will show you guys how it hides it. So you see the button is hid behind this. So I kind of like that it doesn't show the buttons. So how do I feel about this coat? Um, I definitely had more expectations for this coat as well. It just looked really cute on the model and the picture. On me, I'm not sure. Like, I could probably still rock it. But for sure, it's definitely a statement piece. So if you're wearing this out and about in public, people are definitely going to turn their heads because this is a very bright yellow. You will not go unnoticed in this jacket. I also forgot to mention that it has shoulder pads, so personally I'm not a fan of these shoulder pads. I just don't really like the boxy shoulder look, but I know some people like it. I'm sure you could probably take them out. Well, you can't take them out. I mean, you'd have to take it apart, <laughs> like take the seams apart to take it out. But just know that it does have shoulder pads, so it will give you more of that boxy shoulder pad look. One last thing about this jacket is that the pockets on the side are actually fake. So, yeah, not real pockets, just for the look. I prefer real pockets, to be honest, and I think for the price point, they could have made real pockets. I just don't think this jacket was worth the price. I wouldn't say 119 is super expensive, 
but it's enough money where I expect a little bit better quality. I mean, of course, it's not like a $500 jacket, but you know, it's, I feel like this is a jacket you could find for maybe $30, $40, but for $119, I just don't think that this dress, or sorry, this coat really matches that price point. For the last item of clothing that we have, it is this black jacket, and this is called the Belted Long Line Top Coat. It's in a size extra small in the color black, obviously, and it retails for $79.90. First, let's talk about the material. I feel that this material kind of reminds me of linen a little bit, but not quite. I would say that it's on the thinner side, so it's more of a loose jacket per se, if you want to call it that. I wouldn't say it's thick at all, so um, if you're buying this for the winter, it's definitely not going to keep you warm. It's just maybe like an autumn jacket, or if you live in California like I do, it's perfect for the weather here because it doesn't get too cold in California. I actually really love this jacket. I think it's the perfect length and the perfect material for me. And I think it's just nice to have a long black jacket in your closet because you can pair that with so many things, you can make so many different looks with it. And I think it's really essential to have a black trench coat or a white trench coat of some sort. Just those two colors, I think you just need to have that in your closet. One thing to note is that this jacket does have this string where you can tie it together in the middle here, but it doesn't have any buttons. It just has this string that you can tie together. Also, one other thing to note is that the pockets on this are also fake. So, um, yeah, you're not going to be able to have real pockets on this jacket. Again, though, I still think that the look, the look of the jacket itself is very flattering and I just like it. <laughs> Even though the pockets aren't real and all that other stuff, I think that this is a really nice jacket, especially for $79. I think that it does what it needs to do, if you know what I mean. And like I said, the other thing that I really love about this type of jacket is just that it goes with absolutely everything. You can pair it with a dress, you can pair it with jeans and a top. It just really is versatile and I love stuff that's versatile that you can wear with absolutely everything. Okay, so now let's go through the jewelry that I got from Zara. I don't know about you guys, but I've never bought jewelry from Zara. But as I was scrolling through their jewelry section, I was like, oh my god, some of these are really cute. And so I decided to try some pieces from them. The first piece is going to be this earring here. But before we talk about that, I did notice that all their jewelry comes in these little dust bags, which is nice. I think that's a good, nice feature, you know? So back to the earrings, this is the first earring we're going to talk about. This is called the flower earrings, very simple. Um, it says it's in a size medium, I don't know if there's sizes to jewelry, but that's what Zara, the Zara website says. And it's in a gold color, obviously it's not real gold, so if you are sensitive to materials, especially in your jewelry, I know for me, if I wear something that's not real gold, sterling silver, or um, stainless steel, I will get an allergic reaction if I wear it for too long, so just keep that in mind. So these earrings retail for $22.90 USD, and they look like this. I will say that I actually really love these earrings. They are bigger than I thought they would be, but surprisingly they're not that heavy, and they're actually pretty lightweight, which is nice because I know that when you wear bigger, chunkier earrings, sometimes the problem is that it's too heavy and it weighs down in your ear and it gets uncomfortable after a while. But for these, I will say that they're pretty lightweight. The one issue that I do have with these earrings though, is that although they are cute, they get stuck in your hair a lot. And I wore these out the other night and they look beautiful. But the problem I kept having was that my hair kept getting stuck in between these flower petals and that was a little bit annoying so just keep that in mind that if you do have longer hair they will potentially get stuck in your hair and you're going to be pulling on it all night. The next set of earrings we have are these gold leaf earrings. These are called leaf earrings on Zara. They keep it real simple over there and they are also in a size medium. That's what the website says and they retail for $22.90. Now for these, I don't really know how I feel about it yet. Um, 
to me it kind of just seems like I'm wearing a huge chunk of gold on my ear and if you can see it kind of goes up further on your earlobe I don't know some people might like that some people might not personally I guess I don't really mind it but I would say that they're not like my favorite earrings and another thing is they are actually quite heavy compared to these flower earrings that we just showed these leaf earrings are pretty heavy um, so I do see that being a potential annoyance if you wear them too long your ears might start to get a little bit heavy next on the list we have this leaf necklace and this is what it looks like I'll, I will show you guys what it looks like on as well and it has this string where you can tighten it or you can loosen it um, to your preference I prefer to wear mine a little bit more of a choker style so let me just show you guys really quick this is what it looks like on um, I wouldn't wear it with this dress I'd probably wear it with something that shows my neck a little bit more but this is what it looks like and how do I feel about this necklace I don't know again it's definitely a statement piece um, and I think it's kind of cute to be honest it's not like my favorite but I actually kind of like it this necklace is called leaf necklace yes you guessed it leaf necklace what else would it be called and it's also in a size medium and it retails for $35.90 USD and it's cute. I don't really know what else to say about this necklace. It's cute. I like that it's adjustable. Um, I actually quite like the color. I prefer more of a yellow gold. I know some people prefer more of that lighter gold or like a real looking gold. But for me, I just really like the yellow gold look. But I think that's it for the jewelry. And we're going to move on to perfumes now. I bought three perfumes from Zara. So let's go through each of them. The first scent we have is this one and this is called Magnificently Dubai and it is in 1.35 floor ounces. This retails for $19.90 on the Zara website and let's just see what Zara wrote down for it but before we get into that I keep forgetting. This is the box it came in. It just says Magnificently Dubai and you can pull it out of the sleeve like this and it kind of looks like a book and when you open it. I already opened it, but when you open it, it has the this little picture, it's pretty cute, and then the perfume was sitting in here. So Zara says, from sunrise to sunset, bathed in adventure, and the scent reveals notes of saffron, nutmeg, and leather accords. For this one, I will say that I tried this scent and I will say that it lasts pretty long actually surprisingly it does last a pretty long time I would say that the oud it's not overpowering but it's but it's there I mean of course you can't expect much for a $20 perfume I mean in my opinion the more expensive the perfume the longer it's gonna last and just the better quality it is obviously but for $19.90 this is not bad. It's definitely still worth it in my opinion, especially if you do like the scent of oud, but just don't expect it to be like top quality oud. So keep that in mind. We're going to go through the rest of the perfume and then we'll come back and compare all three of them together. Next we have this scent and it's called Perpetual Oud and this was in 2.71 floor ounces and it retailed for $29.90 USD. This is the box it came in. So Zara describes this as an extraordinary and daring fragrance. An explosive cocktail of pear with a spiced touch of pepper announces the arrival of red roses adorned with the exquisite facets of saffron. A fascinating blend strengthened with the powerful notes of amber wood and patchouli and wrapped in a musky comfort. That was quite a description, way longer than the first one. For this scent, I do like it. I think the oud is a little subtle. It's definitely not a strong oud. I mean, the name does say perpetual oud, so you would think that it would be a little bit stronger, but I would say it's kind of more of a soft scent but I guess that kind of makes sense because it does say that it has you know red roses scent and patchouli so that mixed in with oud of course it's probably going to be a little bit more muted I do quite like that perpetual oud scent though I think it's a great layering piece 
with fragrance, like if you layered the perpetual oud with another fragrance, I think it would be a really good scent. The last perfume we have is Red Vanilla, and this was in 3 floor ounces, and it retailed for $17.90 USD. So Zara says that Red Vanilla is a sophisticated, warm, and spicy fragrance with floral and sweet notes. A bright bouquet of elegant iris and red peony flowers combined with juicy notes of mandarin and a sweet and delicate touch of raspberry fused with vanilla accords. So let me say about this scent. When I first put it on, when I first got it, I actually didn't really like it because I felt that the floral scent was too strong. I didn't really smell the vanilla in it. But I will say that as you wear it longer and your skin starts to warm up to it, I know that every fragrance smells different on everybody because we have our own pheromones and all that stuff. So I actually ended up really liking this. Not at first, but I gave it a few minutes and I actually love this scent. I will say that the floral scent is definitely stronger than the vanilla scent. The vanilla is a little muted, so I will say that the, the floral scent definitely comes through a little bit more than the, the vanilla. But yeah, when you first spray this on, you will get a whiff of that floral, but as you let it sit, it only takes a few minutes actually. It starts to warm up and it smells honestly great. I love it so much. I especially think that this perpetual oud mixed with this red vanilla, if you layer these two scents, I think it smells super great. I do that myself. And I think it's a good mixture for these two. Or you could just wear them separately as well. Now, if we're comparing these two scents, Magnificently Dubai and Perpetual Oud, this one is definitely stronger. I honestly think that this almost has more of a Oud scent, or the Oud is stronger in this Magnificently Dubai. I'm not really sure, but that's just my personal opinion. I would say that this Perpetual Oud, it's more of a soft fragrance, and this is more of a... I don't want to say manly because I personally think that men and women can both wear perfume and cologne but if you're comparing it to the standards that we are used to I would say that Magnificently Dubai is definitely a little bit more of a manly scent which makes sense because it does have leather accords in it and Perpetual Oud is more of a softer more quote feminine fragrance although I like both of them, I would wear both of them, female or male, I don't really care. I think that, you know, you can wear whatever fragrance you want, whether you're male or female. But if we're just going based off of what people would describe it as, I guess that's the best way I can describe it. Out of all the perfumes, I would say that Red Vanilla surprised me the most, and it's actually my favorite. Um, and close second would be Perpetual Oud. I think these two are my favorite fragrances out of the three that I got. Magnificently Dubai um, surprised me as well because it was a lot stronger than I thought it would be and it lasts quite a long time. So that's the overall thoughts on the perfume. So that's going to be it for this Zara haul. Um, my overall thoughts are that I spent a little bit too much money and the pieces were good. I think that they definitely have a lot of potential. The only problem I had, again, as I said, was with some of the dresses. They just didn't fit right. Um, I would have to get them altered and so already with spending that much money it is a little disappointing that you will still have to take your time, go somewhere, get it altered and get it fixed to fit you properly. But the pieces are cute. They are cute and they look very nice. They just don't fit my body if that makes sense. Besides this that I'm wearing right now, the kaftan and the black jacket I would say are my favorite. But yeah, those two are my favorite, the black jacket and this kaftan that I'm wearing right now. And obviously the perfumes, they were a good find. Um, I've never tried Zara perfume before, but I heard really good things about it. So I decided to check them out and I'm not really disappointed. I think they are great fragrances. They're good layering fragrances. Of course, they're not going to last all day, all night. But for the price point, I think that they're pretty good. I would say that if you haven't tried Zara perfume before, I think you should definitely give it a shot. It's definitely worth it, it's affordable, and they smell amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment your favorite pieces if you have a favorite piece. If you guys have any questions, definitely ask them. I will get back to you ASAP. And all my measurements are down below in the description. The links to everything I bought are in the description. And follow my social media, my Instagram, Navidaratao. And please like, comment, subscribe if you guys like this video. And I will see you guys in my next haul. Bye! Bye.